This video has all the secrets. All the essentials you need to start your eBay business is right here. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm John Luke. I'm a full-time eBay reseller, seller, I sell stuff on eBay. In today's video, I'm gonna go through everything I use in my business from packaging supplies, electronics, all kind of bits and bobs that help me on a day-to-day -day basis and make things so much easier. So when I'm selling on a daily basis, the processes are quicker, everything just runs a lot smoother if you have these things. So yeah, this is for people who already have businesses, this is for people who are just starting out their eBay business as well. So this video is for everyone, so enjoy. So the most important thing I'd say in an eBay business is a mobile phone. You can literally do so much on a mobile phone. I'm not gonna sell a mobile phone to you. We all know what a mobile phone is and you probably already have one. There's a camera on the back, yeah? So that gets your photos. You can take all your photos you need with the camera on your back. You don't need a fancy camera, this does the job. Also, you get the eBay app on your phone. So you can list from there, you can sell stuff, you know, directly from your phone. You don't need anything else. A camera, eBay app, and away you go. But not only that, you get Google Lens, TerraPeak, all kinds of different, you know, photo room apps, total different stuff on your phone that all helps. So yeah, Google Lens, you'll be searching a picture of something to find some information out and so on. The phone, is a key piece in my business. Without this, not actually this one, this is my girlfriend's, but that phone does a hell of a lot for you. Um, the screen time, you know, might go up and down because we're using it for business. But yeah, take my photos with that, a list on this, reply to messages, emails, lots of stuff. So the phone is definitely the most important thing in my business and it should be in yours as well. In a future video, I might go through Google Lens and do a little bit more in-depth stuff on the things I actually do on my phone, therapy, etc. But um, yeah, for now, the phone. So let's say you've got loads of stock to photograph, you've got your phone, now you need a photo area. So a photo area will consist of some lights, get some high quality lighting. The better the photos appear on eBay, the more chance they have of selling, you know, in terms of the photos and the title, they're just as important of each other. So yeah, get a nice photo. You want to create a nice backdrop. So it can be a nice white background, you know, certain color. I use a paper roll. I can't show you. I tried showing you. I use a white paper roll. Um, you can use pieces of wood. You can put um, like a wood stick on an MDF, create some kind of nice environment for your photos to happen. Um, so yeah, you've got your phone, you've got your lights, you've got your backdrop and you're ready to go. So your photos are done, you've got your lights, you've took your photos, you've listed them using your phone. So your eBay account's made, you've listed them, you've sold some up. When you sell some up, then you wanna be getting, you wanna send it, don't you? You wanna post it, you wanna pack it. So the first thing is, you need some packaging materials. So this could be bubble wrap, could be packaging paper to fill the void in a box. Obviously you're gonna need a box maybe, some jiffy bags, so bubble mailers for DVDs, certain stuff like that. You're gonna need, you know, mailing bags for clothes, clear bags for clothes. So I put my clothes in a clear bag and then they'll go straight into a mailer bag. Happy days, dead easy. Video games, media, go in a bubble mailer or a jiffy bag, just like that. You've got big and small sizes. You can search online. There's all kinds of different ones of those. Same with these. You've got different colors, different sizes, different thicknesses. You know, you can get real big ones, real small ones and exactly the same with the clear bags. There's no right or wrong way of doing it. Um, I get my boxes directly from eBay as well. Same with my bubble wrap as well. So yeah, it's um, it's an essential thing. If you don't have any packaging supplies, if you can't send anything, you can't fulfill your sales and then you're a failed business. All right, next up, you pack your item safely with some bubble wrap, some paper, some, you know, whatever you want to use. Then you need to get your labels. Um, at the beginning, we all handwrite our labels, don't we? You know, we take it to the post box, but Soon after that, you do outgrow it. You have 10, 15, 20, 30 parcels you need to take. You can't handwrite them all. It takes too long. You can't take them to the post office. It takes too long to do all that. This is when a label printer comes in. So you can get a cheap label printer or an expensive label printer. They both do the same job. Um, yeah, four by six labels. And then you'll print your labels directly from the eBay website out into the printer and you'll stick it on your parcel. But to get on the eBay website, you do need a computer. You do need a laptop. Some people do print directly through a Bluetooth printer from their phone, from their iPad, etc. I like to use a printer with my laptop, have the eBay website up nice and easy, put in the weights, put in the dimensions. But to do that, you need 
pair of scales. Just like these ones here, electronic scales, they weigh up to 50 kilograms. You put your box on there, and whatever it is, you pop it in on the eBay website, eBay delivery, parcel to go, whichever you use to send your parcels. You can put in the weight. Everyone's got a tape measure, I'm sure. You measure the parcels, length, width, height, if that makes sense. And then you get a quote, you buy your label, you print it off on your cheap or your expensive label printer, and then you pop it on the parcel and away you go. I don't think I've missed too much there. Few, you know, a few in between, you've got some sellotape for your boxes. You've got some scissors to cut stuff if you need to cut stuff. But apart from that, it is as simple as that. Get some lights, a backdrop, a phone. Obviously, when you've got your stock, you take a picture, list it on your phone, you sell it, pack it, label, post it. It's that simple. But yeah, these are some of the key components that will just get you started and get things moving quicker rather than, you know, be searching for packaging supplies or writing out your labels, having bad photography set up, bad camera, bad lighting, bad photos, results in less sales. So yeah, the key components are get a real nice photo, get a real nice listing, and hopefully you price it right, the item will sell, and then you can go on to the next stage. But yeah, this is just a quick video to just um, basically go through what you need to get going on eBay. If you did enjoy today's video, leave a like, leave a comment, and a nice subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.